if you are not speaking to the personal representative, you want to get the name of that person and their contact information in this initial call. That's important because they are the decision maker. Now, number three, when you go to the property, treat the seller just like you would any other person. You want to be mindful of their situation, but remember that they contacted you because they want to sell the property. They contacted you because they need your help. One tip for having easy conversations with these sellers is to look for visual clues in the home when you get to the home. So when you get to the point where you've talked to them on the phone and you've made an appointment to see the property, then you will go to the property, introduce yourself, and once you go in the property, look for visual clues. Now, here are a couple of examples. 